Welcome to Zinzile Life, where we give you the tools to become a healthier, happier you. I'm Dr. Andreid Smith, and today we are starting a series on relationships. Today's topic is why are breakups or divorce so painful? A breakup or divorce can be one of the most stressful and emotional experiences in life. Whatever the reason for the split, and whether you wanted it or not, the breakup of a relationship can turn your whole world upside down and trigger all sorts of painful and unsettling emotions. Even when a relationship is no longer good, a divorce or breakup can be extremely painful because it represents the loss not just of the partnership, but also of the dreams and commitments you shared. Romantic relationships begin on a high note of excitement and hopes for the future. When a relationship fails, we experience profound disappointment, stress and grief. A breakup or divorce launches you into uncharted territory. Everything is disrupted. Your routine, responsibilities, your home, your relationship with extended family and friends and even your identity. A breakup also brings uncertainty about the future. What will life be without your partner? Will you find someone else? Will you end up alone? These unknowns can often seem worse than being in an unhappy relationship. This pain, disruption and uncertainty means that recovering from a breakup of divorce can be difficult and take time. However, it's important to keep reminding yourself that you can and will get through this difficult experience and even move on with a renewed sense of hope and optimism. In my next article, I will give you the tools to get through your breakup or divorce. But one of the main points to remember is that a breakup or divorce causes you to go through a grief process. Allow yourself to grieve the loss of the relationship. Grief is a natural reaction to loss, and the breakup or divorce of a love relationship involves multiple losses. The loss of companionship and shared experiences, which may or may not have been consistently pleasurable. The loss of support, be it financial, intellectual, social or emotional. The loss of hopes, plans and dreams, which can be even more painful than practical losses. Allowing yourself to feel the pain of these losses may be scary. You may fear that your emotions will be too intense to bear, or that you'll be stuck in a dark place forever. Just remember that grieving is essential to the healing process. The pain of grief is precisely what helps you to go let go of the relationship and move on. And no matter how strong your grief, it won't last forever. Here are some tips for grieving after breakup or divorce. Don't fight your feelings. It's normal to have ups and downs and feel many conflicting emotions, including anger, resentment, sadness, relief, fear and confusion. It's important to identify and acknowledge these feelings. While these emotions will often be painful, trying to suppress or ignore them will only prolong the grieving process. Talk about how you're feeling. Even if it's difficult for you to talk about your feelings with other people, it's very important to find a way to do so when you are grieving. Knowing that others are aware of your feelings will make you feel less alone with your pain and will help you heal. Writing in a journal can also be a helpful outlet for your feelings. Remember that moving on is the end goal. Expressing your feelings will liberate you in a way, but it's important not to dwell on the negative feelings or to overanalyze the situation. Getting stuck in hurtful feelings like blame, anger and resentment will rob you of valuable energy and prevent you from healing and moving forward. Remind yourself that you still have a future. When you commit to another person, you create many hopes and dreams for a life together. After a breakup, it's hard to let these aspirations go. As you grieve the loss of the future you once envisioned, be encouraged by the fact that new hopes and dreams will eventually replace your old ones. Know the difference between a normal reaction to a breakup and depression. Grief can be paralyzing after a breakup, but after a while the sadness begins to lift. Day by day, and little by little, you start moving on. However, if you don't feel any forward momentum, you may be suffering from depression. Fighting grief is often counterproductive. Most of the time, it's best to allow yourself to grieve in the ways that come naturally to you, at least part of the time. Eventually, life comes back to normal, and the intensity of the loss retreats. 
Different people take different amounts of time to go through their grief process and express their grief with different intensities of emotion. The amount of time people spend grieving depends on their personalities and on the nature of their losses. Someone whose marriage was betrayed might take a longer time to work out their grief and do it in a more vocal way than someone who chooses to leave a marriage of their own accord. Someone who found out suddenly about their spouse's affair might greet differently than someone who watched their marriage deteriorate for years. It's realistic that grief over a lost marriage should be worked out in a month or even several months. It's not realistic. Most people will continue to deal with the emotional ramifications of loss for many months, and sometimes even several years. Several years is a long time, however, really too long to spend exclusively grieving when life is so short. People who find that grief has not, for the most part, abated after 12 months have gone by, are strongly urged to seek the assistance of a professional therapist. While grief can be immobilizing at first, after a while, most grieving people find that, little by little, they are ready to move on with their lives. For a time, they might find themselves moving on and grieving at the same time. Over time, however, if everything goes well, the grieving process loses steam and more energy becomes available for moving on with life. We wish you a lovely day from Zinzini Life.